right. We're Stoner Rock from Maple Ridge. Yeah, we're good to go. Cool, man. Yeah. I'm here with the guys from Warborn. My name's Aris, by the way. Yeah. You guys... I'm Garrett Keeping from Maple Ridge. Sweet. <laughs> That's cool. Ken Ross from Maple Ridge as well. John Fidget from Maple Ridge. Sure, Mike Shepard from Maple Ridge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jeff. Jeff McQuist. This is Jeff. This is Jeff. He's yeah. a filling bass player. Well, man, whatever. It's all good. I'm a filling bass player. But Fantastic. he's doing a good job, and it's awesome. Yeah, you guys, you guys' energy is unreal, man. Yeah. Really good job. Like, how long have you guys been playing for? Actually, I was talking about years? that the other Together? Yeah, today, and I think it's our anniversary is coming up this month. <laughs> anniversary. Two I mean, it's a relationship, hey? Well, yeah, it's about, you know, yeah, of course. Two years. it's been a long road of yeah, uh, yeah. worse than a yeah, normal sure. relationship. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think yeah. cognitively, it probably it releases yeah. the same brain chemicals yeah. as like as a romantic a, relationship. You know absolutely. What I mean? You fight as much as you would, you oh. know, if you're, you know, with Let's someone fight. else. But it's with you five other people. You make love, though, when, when the victory of the Yeah, origin. we make love with our music, Lots of right? So. Yeah. And then when we really hit it off, you know, that's like the orgasm. We're like, yeah, that's a killer riff, man. I'm sure that's perfect. That was an orgasm. Yeah, what? Just coming down off some ecstasy. Oh, that's killer. Whatever. You know what it makes for Sarah. Look at that shirt. Go. He picked that out earlier. Right? <laughs> yeah, he was like, pop. And he was like, I want that shirt. Anyway. So, like, what is your what, what does Warborn deliver? What do you deliver to the stage? Like, what do you hope the people take from one of your guys' games? Like, that was cool. You know, and that it's weird because we've been trying to figure out what our genre is and what we are. And from, you know, what we've been told in feedback, it, it's stoner rock meets thrash meets power rock and basically you know when we get up there we just want to just be a crushing raw ambient power. raw power and just kind of go and just do something different and just, just be noticed and you know we're not trying to write any music we're not that, trying, like, to, be we're not trying to target a specific audience we're writing tunes that we like playing and, and you know and if other people dig it then that's rad and so i think people are good. digging yeah. it man i heard whispers in the back like all oh, these guys are awesome that guy's really good at vocals those drifts are tight like when you guys get into a room, a room and write, like, what, is there a general, like, is there a riff you start out? Do you write poetry or do you just sing to what? You know what, I honestly, when I write to what they're playing, I will just scat. Yeah. Until I get perfect, like, do some, structure. Do some guitar scat for us. <laughs> no, yeah, I'd be like, I'll be like, do 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 my head and I just want to get it out there and they, they you know the writing process is interesting for sure but you know it works and it's good how many do you guys have an album you have an album out we have an EP for sale it's just war warborn self-titled uh, four songs um, it's for sale 10 bucks it's uh, what is it again revengeance flesh and stone war remains and the giant which are four of our originals so, it's how good. was that process? How was the studio? How much time did you guys have? That was grueling. Three days. Three days? It, it was actually, we, we got in and got days. out pretty quick. Yeah. We, we found our little, like, what we needed to do and it was in made North a few adjustments really quick and laid down our click track. It was intense. It was like 10 hours yeah. straight. Yeah. It was yeah. cool. I mean, like, to think about what other professional bands do, like living in the studio, it was a great, it was refreshing, it was a neat experience to be in there. We had two, four days total studio time. Four days total, it's like 40 hours to do four songs, and we crammed it, and it worked out. You're satisfied with what happened? I mean... Yeah, absolutely. The only thing we need to do is get the the album better, remap. You always yeah. overthink things yeah. when you're in the studio. Absolutely. You, 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 you're like... How do you know this guy? I do Oak. Yeah, Oak, I see you there. <laughs> yeah, man, it's, that's the art, though, right? You're always going to look at it and, like, in retrospect and be like, was that right? Should I well, you're always going to critique way? yourself, and that's what's that's what's good. I mean, like, when, if you're satisfied with something, I mean, I don't know if you're working hard enough, in my opinion. You know, like, you're like, okay, we could always do that. Like, I wonder what Metallica thinks to kill them all. You know, or just, you know what I mean? Like, Kill Em All, one of my favorite albums of all time. Yeah. And I'm sure they look back on that album and are like, fuck, I wish we'd have did this. I wish we'd have done That's that. That's a self-deprecation of being a musician. Though. Yeah, exactly. But it's cool, man. Like, we're satisfied, definitely. We get a lot of good feedback in it. It's awesome. You do. You're fabulous. Um, Thank you so okay, much. I love that I word. Good word. Fab. Good word yeah. Fabulous. That's a great yeah. word. Yeah, dude. What's your, like, how many gigs have you played? We're about one, a few. I don't know. one or two a month right now. We're trying to do yeah. more, but it's... 
We had one month there when we like yeah. So far, well, our, our bass player Jeff Coghill, he's actually from Bra Heights. Why would you fucking say that? I don't even know what that is. I don't know what that means though. <laughs> he's from another band, but he's yeah, filling in for name our name. bass player. So right now we're just kind of on a summer hiatus. Me most memorable show you guys ever played? Is oh. there is there a the show Red that stands This out? one. Red 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 we Red played Red the Red Red Room for Landmark Entertainment, and it was fucking awesome, man. We played. It was a wicked classy venue, and we played there. Uh, it was like 17 bands. It was a, a battle of the bands type of band. thing. And uh, we got up that. there and it was, yeah, we crushed it. And you know, there was about three or four hundred people there, and they were just the, the reaction there was really inspiring because yeah. we played a lot of little shows where there's six people come watching us and two people watching us. Then we played the Red Room, and everyone loved it. And that was a huge, huge, that was the best show for sure. Does intoxication play a role in your guys' is not at all? No, I'm not weed. Oh, dude, weed for <laughs> sure. <laughs> These guys smoke a lot of dope, but. Other than that, what no, the so fuck, man? Pretty sober about practice. That's, you know, I, was just I heard trip. this like rule of thumb is if you like practice. I know, I see some of the like very close. Yeah, yeah. practice shows well, wasted. No one's ever like, wasted. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good that yeah, way. Yeah, um, so. I used to get pretty wasted and come to practice, and then, you know, I got a good talking to you. So, You're still a fucking I like to, loser. I used to I like to drink a lot. I can see What's that? that? I, I've had it's a bank problem. Friend. Yeah. <laughs> my, uh, so is that guy. And it's just, He's an Aryan fucking nation lawyer. Uh, just so you know. I don't think Buzz is going to And those are some Those are some total straight up like Angus Young. This guy was originally a funk star. He's a wrench in this. G.G. Allen. G.G. Allen. G.G. Allen, go. What? One phrase. I want to fuck myself. <laughs> yeah. What he said. Gigi Allen, broken glass and poo. Gigi Allen. <laughs> broken glass and poo. Broken yeah. glass poo. Oh no, is that, is, is not Pooing broken glass. Pooing broken glass, that's actually very <laughs> Gigi Allen, man. Out of your mouth vagina. <laughs> Why not? It's Gigi, man. G. G. Allen. Patron Why saint G. G. of being Allen? a retard. Why not Jim Morrison, guys? Come on. Sick. I'm just gonna say. That's like, one of my things. Sure. This is this, he isn't in the band. Is this, is band. this is one of my best friends. You yes, know this is. guy. He used to hang out with Spread Eagle. You know. <laughs> Why used to get Spread Eagle? <laughs> I don't know. It's <laughs> cool. <laughs> That's bad. Well, this is Warborn, man. They did a fantastic oh, job, guys. Good. Thank you guys very much. Thank you. This is Flesh and Stone.
Sometimes I feel like my brain's gonna explode, man. Whew. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for coming.